All right guys, good morning. I'm out here at my boat storage and I'm gonna do some fishing this morning. Uh, I'm gonna take a break from the white bass and I'm gonna go to, uh, searching for some blues. So I'll probably do some drift fishing. I uh, thought I'd take a moment to kind of show you guys my, my rig, my boat, and kind of what I work with here. I have quite a bit of uh, people that message me either on my Facebook or they'll sometimes uh, direct message me asking me, you know, what kind of boat I have, what kind of setup, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I won't take too long. I'll just show you guys real quick what I got. So what I have here, I actually have an 18 foot uh, Carolina skiff. It's a uh, really, really good boat for the water. It's uh, very versatile. You can use it for you know different styles and types of fishing. Uh, like I said, it is a Carolina skiff. It is an 18 footer. And the specific model of this one is a JVX or the JVX series. And so this one, like I said, is a very, very uh, good boat. I can use it for, you know, different types of fishing. And that's why I kind of like it. I can drift fish, I can troll, I can anchor up. Uh, I can get in some really shallow water. I can get down into probably about a foot of water and still be able to maneuver. Um, if you guys saw some of my videos from a couple years back when Hurricane Harvey hit, uh, you know, I was able to take this boat up to uh, to Houston and we were navigating through the streets and picking up people and we didn't have, you know, very much issues whatsoever. So very good boat. Uh, I really do like it. If you guys are looking for a boat for just, you know, friends and family, uh, this boat recommends you can get seven people on here. I honestly would say, you know, four to five just so you can be comfortable. Um, but yeah, overall a real great boat. Uh, the cost of the boat is not very expensive either. So I figure for the, the size of the boat and as much as you're getting, it's a very cost effective boat. I think this one I got in 2013. So it's a little over six years or it just hit six years. And when I got it brand new, I believe it was 20, 22, five, 23 before I added anything on it. So basically the boat, when you, when I first bought it, is basically it's just the boat. It came with an Evinrude. Uh, E-Tech engine. It's a 60 horsepower, which is more than enough for this boat. And it came with a Bimini top, uh, blue. I think you can get different colors, but this one came blue. And that's all that it came with. Everything else I had to add on uh, after the fact. Uh, what I have up here in the front, I've talked about it a lot, but the uh, trolling motor. This is a Minn Kota Riptide. It's a, a 24 volt, so it uses you know two two batteries, this dual bank. And this is a GPS operated, so this thing works great. Uh, if you see me fishing in uh, the river, George West or the Frio, when we're fishing for white bass, I can use this to troll. It's got a specific option that you can select where it, it says N on the remote, which stands, I guess, for North. But basically what it is, it just takes you in a, in a straight pattern. So you can set that setting and just, you know, it'll take you right down the river. Anytime you hit a turn, just kind of angle it with you know a little bit and it'll kind of keep you going in a straight line it also has an anchor feature um, it's got a little anchor button you hit that it'll do a spot lock on your gps and if the winds or the tides or the waves are pushing you off it'll keep taking you back to that spot that you marked so that's real good if you guys want to do like some uh, artificial fishing you know casting you know for reds or white bass or whatever so i did add that when i got the boat um, i'm not very electronic savvy for running wire so i did have the the guys at the boat shop they added that on for me uh, most everything else i was able to do myself um, these guys here these are scotty rod holders these things are extremely durable and i absolutely love them uh, you can get them at bass pro you can get them at amazon uh, i did get most of mine on amazon because i could do you know like a bulk buy and when you first order it, it's just going to come with a base like this, and it's going to come with this top portion of the rod holder. Um, but as you can tell, it's going to sit pretty low to the boat, so I wanted these extenders, and these also are Scotty uh, rod extenders, and they attach, you know, to the base, and it just gives you a little bit more of a of a lift for your rods. Uh, these things swivel and turn any direction that you want, and they are super awesome. I mean, I've been snagged sometimes when I'm trolling and you know this thing will just turn i've seen it turn as far as you know this much and it's never cracked it it's never broken it so uh scotty guys over at scotty very good uh very good product very durable 
Like I said, I've had these guys for as long as a boat, so going on six years, uh, none of them have cracked, and they all do extremely well. So I did add those onto the boat, and I have quite a bit of them. One thing I did add on, add on to the boat, which probably shouldn't have, but I did add a radio. And unfortunately, I don't play music very often because when I'm putting videos on YouTube, I get a lot of copyright infringements and I, I can challenge it, but it's just, it's a lot of a hassle. So I just kind of don't bother with it anymore. I just don't have any music playing on, on my boat. Uh, so yeah, I got a radio that I never use. I also have these uh, downriggers. These are Canon downriggers. These work really great if you're fishing for reds out here at the lake. Unfortunately, I do not like this style of fishing. Um, not to knock it, it's a great way to cover a lot of water trying to find the fish, but this is just not for me. I just I don't like it very much. I had an older boat, uh, I had a uh, an Alumacraft boat, it was a 16 footer. I got some downriggers on that one, I never liked it. And when I got this bigger boat, I thought, well, let me get some downriggers and maybe I'll like it more on the bigger boat. Nope, still don't like it. So I think I've used these guys maybe six times in the six years and like i said I, I just don't like them so now they're just rod holders they are very expensive rod holders on my boat but still it is a good it is a good company uh, they do work real great most of the guys out here that's what they use for for red fishing they'll go down rigging for reds they're using the cannon down riggers some of them have manuals some of them have electric but it really is a, a real good product um, like I was telling you guys, my engine is an Evinrud E-Tech. It's a 60 horsepower. I think for this size of boat, uh, you can get it up to 90. Uh, but a 60 is more than what you need. Uh, I can get across the lake. If it's just me on the boat, I can do about 35 miles an hour. Uh, once you get more people, obviously you're going to slow down. But even taking it to Canyon Lake, it doesn't take very long to get from one side of the lake to the other. So that's probably more than what you need. But if you want to go a little bit higher, you can probably go to about a 90 and my boat I actually got over at Master Marine so they are located off of 16, Loop 1604 in Braun and yeah that's pretty much my boat guys uh, other stuff that's got on here this guy here is a live well which I don't use I use it for storage that compartment back there is the battery compartment for the engine um, it did come with this ice chest under the captain's chair um, I also use it for storage. I don't put any drinks. It's just all dry storage keeps my stuff, you know, pretty safe There is a storage compartment under the captain's wheel and You know you pretty much throw a whole bunch of stuff in there also if you want. It's not necessarily a dry storage because the rod holder holes if You get rained on rain water will actually go down there. So it's not a dry storage not for this one Now I have seen the newer models because I go over to Master Marine quite a bit just to look at the boats. And it seems like the newer models on those rod holders, uh, it's got like a tube on the bottom and it's got a little hose that runs off to the side, kind of like right there. So if it does get water, it throws it right back out. So on those newer models, it probably is a dry storage, but mine is not. It also has a live well up here in the front. Also, I don't ever use, don't use it for dry storage. I just don't have anything in there. And then you got two more storage compartments and this really is just one big storage compartment but you have two openings um, right here in the middle is where i have the uh, the two batteries for the trolling motor and um, then just off to the sides i usually have life vests on actually on both sides and i have some other stuff on this side like my drift socks for for when i'm drift fishing for blues i have those over here uh, this size chest i did add uh, you might want to think about something like this if you get a boat like this just so you can put your your fish so this is basically where we put all of our catches uh, you can get these mounts on amazon also and this holds the boat in place uh, there are some straps i need to put on i just took them off right now but there are some straps that will actually hold this ice chest in place so when you go real fast in the water uh, this stays uh, set and it's not going to go anywhere and then what else do i have in here that's most of my stuff uh, what I'm working with here, I'm using a Lorenz. Uh, this is a Hook 7 triple shot. This guy works really well. Uh, same thing, very cost effective. I think I got it on sale for like 4 dollars I think, or 4 dollars 
so pretty good value um, this guy here just holds my phone uh, sometimes it holds my lighter for my cigars and this guy is just a cigar clip get a grip clip.com works real good for holding your cigars and then if you guys are watching me uh, you see when I'm catching fish on the boat you'll see that camera kind of like uh, pan around 360 real quick this is basically what it is guys all of this is a PVC rod holder or sorry a PVC pipe and it runs all the way down through the rod holder and then I just put like a foam noodle and then I just put some uh, some ties some zip ties some rubber zip ties and it holds it in place and you almost don't get any shaking whatsoever so when you're on the boat I'm able to just you know pan it 360 real quick and the view stays you know pretty consistently flat so we're on, we're on here it's kind of like panning back and forth but I can turn it in any direction that I want so yeah I think that's it and then the other last thing I kind of do here just so I don't ever lose my remote for my iPilot I kind of just hang it up on here so a lot of times you know when I'm drift fishing if I need to you know change the, the setting of my trolling motor I don't want to be looking for the remote I, I really don't like having it hanging on my neck so I just kind of put it up here and so I just you know reach for it change my settings however I want and then you know I'm good to go and I think that's probably about it for the boat um, I did put this on I don't know how well it's gonna work out I'll see as you can see it kind of shakes so I was wanting to see if I can get something like this for when we go white bass fishing I might try it out one time this year but I want to see if I can have like a camera view at the front of the boat just looking straight back so that I don't have to pan it 360 so we'll see if anybody has a better recommendation to stop the shaking you know by all means let me know because um, yeah that's going to be kind of annoying if I'm trying to catch fish and this thing is shaking all the time but yeah if you have a recommendation by all means uh, just let me know and uh, yeah let me show you my boat storage also be right back all right guys so this can be my boat storage it's a very very convenient it's you know it's it's obviously it's covered keeps my boat safe from the elements uh, don't get rained on don't get sun don't get wind i mean i don't get anything on here uh, this boat storage uh, where i'm at it's actually right across from the lake so it makes it very convenient and it's across from calaveras lake uh, the cost is, you know, very good, I think, for the amount of, you know, space that I have. But, yeah, I pretty much keep most of my stuff in here. As you can see, I have my, uh, my catfish rigs, and I have my redfish rigs. And for those interested or asking what do I use, um, I typically use when I'm drift fishing, I'm using these pen. These are the pen Warfare 15s, uh, LWs, level wines. And they are paired up with some ugly sticks. And these guys, uh, they work pretty good. I do like them. I've been using these guys for years. This is what I'm going to use right now when I head out to the lake right now. I'm going to take all these sticks off of here. And then when I go fishing for redfish, I am using spinning reels. And these are the Pen Fierce 2s. And I believe these are the 4000s. And same thing, they work real good. They also are paired up with some 7-foot uh, medium heavy ugly sticks. And if you didn't notice already, I'm a huge pen fan and I'm a huge ugly stick fan. Um, I really do like them, been using them for a long time. And there's one of my buddies passing by. But yeah, I really do like them guys. They're, they're again, very cost effective. They're not very expensive and they do the job and they will last you a very long time if you take real good care of them. Um, yeah, and then just for my boat storage, I, I ran a rope light up here to the top and through the sides. Just this way I can get more uh, light in here, especially when I'm in here at, you know, 5, 6 in the morning. And then just back here, it's just some other stuff I got. Uh, it's another storage, dry storage. Blue container, use this for when I need to run muriatic acid through my engine. When I start getting a lot of calcium buildup. Got my jugs. Got my anchors. And I got a big old trash can, which does not have trash. It actually has more, 
more fishing supplies. It's got some of my bigger jugs. It's got some of my drift socks and some other miscellaneous things in there. So yeah, that's pretty much about everything, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, now I got to go fishing and try and catch some uh, blue cats. I don't think I fished for them in about God, a month and a half. So we will see if they want to play. So yeah, see y'all later. Bye.